Hey guys, um, I haven't done a video in a while, oops, um, I'm currently in New York City, this lighting's very bad but I'm in a hotel, so, um, and I look very tired because, um, I got up at like 3.50 and went to NBC to line up for standby for the Tonight Show Jimmy Fallon, and I was fourth in line, um, and I just got a standby ticket like half an hour ago. So, um, it's, it's like 9.30ish or something in the morning, so uh, I get to go back at 3.30 and see if I actually get to go see Jimmy Fallon, and yay. I would have um, vlogged and whatnot earlier, but it was early. I mean, I probably look worse now, but I don't care. I've barely got any sleep, but I'm going to go sleep now for a couple of hours. And yeah, I'm really hoping I get to see the show, for those that don't know me. I've been a fan of Jimmy for freaking ages. I remember I first saw him on Saturday Night Live. It was shown on the news in Australia and I didn't know what the hell it was. And he was on Weekend Update. And then I became a fan through Late Night and everything and his movies and everything he does. So and I, every time I've gone to New York, he's been on break. So uh, I leave New York tomorrow to go back home. So today's my only day to get it because he was, he's was he been on break for like a week or two. So fingers crossed I get to go see Jimmy Fallon. And um, yeah, this is my vlog because I'm very excited and yeah, I really like it. I won't be able to obviously vlog the show, but I'll be able to vlog me hopefully going, like getting my other ticket and whatnot and um, talking about it after and everything. It's got a good um, setup for tonight. They've got Jim Parsons from Big Bang Theory. Um, who else, what is it? Oh, I'm forgetting his name. Dame, Damon? Oh, I'm forgetting his name. One of the Waynes brothers um, that did White Chicks and that. I think he's hosting a new show. Um, some hockey team, I think don't know anything about hockey and then the Smashing Pumpkins I don't really know the music but I know of them but yeah it'll be good and I'm very excited because I get to see Jimmy Fallon in person so yeah um I'm gonna go to sleep now so I'll be back in a few hours and yeah bye <laughs> Hi guys! I don't know if this is a good idea. Might fall down. Oh well. I went to the Tonight Show. Yay! And I feel like crying because I'm so happy. Um, I've got my... Hold on. There we go. Got my wristband. We got tickets, but then they got taken away. So I was going to make a cool, like, you know, scrapbook or something of my cool adventure from today. But, you know... No, nope. got taken away. But I took a photo of it, thank God. Um, yeah, um, it was a great show. Um, waited for a while, and they only let, like, I think 16 of us in. So I was, like, number four. So amazing. Um, they had Jim Parsons on the show. I love Jim Parsons. Like, he's very funny. He's not... I mean, he's like Sheldon, but he's not, like... I don't know, he's very funny, though. And then there was Marlon Waynes from White Chicks, and he's got a TV show um, that's coming for season two called Marlon. It's like a family comedy kind of show, I assume, from what I got the vibe. Then they had th some um, hockey players. I don't know their names, or the Washington Capitals or something. I wasn't really paying attention to that part. But um, 
they won the Stanley Cup, I think it is. This is how much I pay attention to American sports, guys. Yep. Um, and then they um, came out and had the cup, and then they drank from it, and they had the guy that Jimmy bet on for oh, mm, some some racing thing they have for horses and in America. I don't know what that's called, but the guy that, that won and Jimmy bet on, he came out as well. And then um, Jimmy kind of did like a, I don't know what it was, a keg stand kind of thing, drinking from the trophy. It was pretty funny. Um, but yeah, and then the Smashing Pumpkins played and then the show ended and I got a high five, Jimmy. But during, um, um, when they were setting up the stage and everything for Smashing Pumpkins, Jimmy came around to the audience and like asked questions and obviously I'm a huge fan so I know a lot about him and typical questions he gets. So I was like, crap, didn't know that they were going to, uh, we're going to be able to like ask questions. So I had nothing prepared and I was like trying to think, I'm like, no, that's too cliche and everything. So I couldn't think of anything. And then I finally thought of something and it wasn't a question. It was just a statement saying I'm from Sydney and then I've come here a number of times. And every time I've come, you've always been on break, but your show is amazing and I love it and you make me so happy and laugh and everything. Something along those lines, but um, didn't get to that. By the time I'd thought of it, I'd put my hand up, but hit like Smashing Pumpkins were already like kind of ready. But yeah, I was so happy. Um, when I take photos or videos, yes, we weren't allowed to do that. Totally did not have my phone in my pocket trying to video me high fiving Jimmy. Um, yeah, I did that, but you can't really see it. But I have no memories, so yeah, I was like very happy, and um, I'm so happy I got to do it. <laughs> I'm getting emotional because I'm so so happy. I've been watching it for so many years, so um, worth getting up at 4 a.m. and waiting all those hours and everything. Um, so yeah, um, I don't know what I'm, what else I can do for this, but it's my last night in New York, and I've got some cupcakes from Magnolia Bakery, and I'm probably gonna order in. Um, it's kind of cold outside, it might be a little bit warmer now. Um, and then might go around walk at Times Square for the like, the last time. Cause I leave tomorrow, maybe like a little after midday. But um, also during the show, I can't, I forget his name. I know I follow him on Twitter, but it's the warm up, hype up guy who works on the show. I'm pretty sure he's a writer. Um, and like, he was like really funny and he's like, oh, is anyone from, you know, like out of the country? And, I put up my hand and said Sydney. So then me and him were like having some conversation, him doing banter, of course, being a, being a comedian and a writer. Um, and he's like, oh, so what if he's like, oh, and he just makes jokes. And I was like, no, I haven't done anything that touristy. And he's like, oh, so what have you gotten up to? I'm like, um, went to some Broadway shows. He's like, yeah, that's definitely not touristy at all. <laughs> so then I started dying of laughter at me. But um, yeah, like typically mean, you know, like, going to Empire State Building and whatnot. But yeah, it was like really funny because we had like a thing for like a few minutes or so. So I was like really happy. And um, yeah, when um, I said, yeah, I'm from Australia, no one like would or anything. He's like, yeah, everyone's really happy that you're here. <laughs> I, I didn't care. I was only there to see Jimmy. A lot of people were there for like um, the the hockey players and that and, and, and like some of the guests. I was just there to see the show because I've always wanted to go to the show and that. And I was like last row in the middle. So like when Jimmy comes up um, on the ends of the show, he like goes through the aisle, um, the, the stair aisle and like high five. So then when like he comes up the back, you can high five him. So I was very happy that I was placed there because I was like, I need to high five him just because like, and I like high five him and I touched his shoulder. So I was very happy. Um, I go back tomorrow to Australia, sadly, so, woo, but then I have, um, a concert that night I get back. Hopefully jet lag ain't bad. <laughs> it will be. It totally will be. But yeah, um, that's my Jimmy Fallon experience. I bought another shirt, but like when we got there, right, they gave us like a discount thing and it's like 10% off a mic. Could have used this the other day when I bought my blanket and my my pins. So um, I already own some Jimmy merch. This is like characters and whatnot. I got that from Universal Orlando at the thing, and I got like a Tonight Show singlet that's white. Um, what else?
else and then I've got like my normal other stuff like I've got a hoodie and my pants like my hoodies here and that and um another shirt and another shirt but this one yeah I got this like really soft and it glows in the dark apparently but yeah it's different to my other ones so kind of yeah but yeah Jonas just tweeted no, his Instagram post um so yeah I guess I should eat and kind of pack even though I've kind of already unpacked and watch some TV relax and then watch the tonight show at 11:35, and then see if I get shown or anything but yeah um by the time this has gone up it's probably already been on so probably won't be able to see me but if I I might video it um try and show me and then put it in here so um yeah hope you like this random video I haven't uploaded in forever so sorry um just haven't felt inspired or anything so um yeah bye guys and have a nice day and whatnot bye